This is another photograph of Mr. McChesney, the operator of the motorcycle. It's our understanding that this man has still refused to provide information to law enforcement, um, although we have learned now that uh, at 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, at, well, only within hours of this event, he engaged a lawyer who contacted FHP and indicated that uh, he would only speak to uh, law enforcement if they would grant him full immunity from any charges. Thereafter, Mr. McChesney uh, was seen to have stopped on the scene. He does not appear to have done anything to render any aid to Jennifer, who was in the lanes of oncoming traffic of I-95. Um, he then left the scene. Jennifer was struck by numerous vehicles. Uh, we believe as many as nine. Nine, did you say? Nine. Um, he left the scene um, and apparently passed by his cousin while his cousin was still on with the uh, 911 operator providing information. And, um, and then the, uh, the, co the cousin appears to have terminated the call at that point. The person who was operating the, motor the motorcycle that night, his name is Miles McChesney. Um, we understand he's from New York and he was here only for a couple of days before this incident happened. Um, and that uh, he was the person my, uh, uh, my client met online and went out with that night. Um, and our, our information is that he was operating a motorcycle at the time that she, for whatever reason, um, was expelled from it. But what we're asking for is anyone who has information based on now knowing who this person was, um, seeing some photographs of him. Um, we're asking that anyone who has information about anything they observed that night about this person, his driving, his activities, what he was doing that night, uh, we'd ask for them to come forward and uh, either contact us at 954-JUSTICE or uh, contact law enforcement and report what they saw.